those are the threats I'm worried about. Those are the those are the three things that I think have the possibility of killing me. What is going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more hardcore Subnautica. So last episode, we got a base place going. We went to the island. We did some things. We did some stuff. We also got the uh, the bridge, the hull, and the modification station unlocked too. So all exciting things. All exciting things. Now, I did miss the exterior grow beds. I saw somebody commented that. Yes, I did miss those. I completely forgot. I don't even know how I did, but I did. I forgot. I'm sorry. Anyways, let's play this message. Aurora, this is Sunday. Uh oh. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Yeah, that means there's. I didn't know how bad. No many. Yep. How many of you? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know. Yes. That, We're now yes. to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Well, if there's a massive debris field, like what I mean. What else can I say? What I. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's uh, it might be maybe too late. Maybe. Anyways, okay. So let's get things going here. I want to get the. Uh, I want to get the modification station going. So let's see. Let's get our building tool out here. What do we need for that? Because the modification station is going to allow us to build uh, some, well, modified items. Uh, computer chip, titanium, diamond, and lead. Heck yes. Mm, the computer chip might be the problem. But we have titanium, diamond, and lead. So uh, let's see what we have. Okay, so three copper. A gold... There's the titanium. There's the lead. I need, oh, maybe another gold. And then we need, what else do we need? What else do we need? We need that, that table coral. All right, so let's go grab some table coral and let's make this guy. I don't know what we can make off the top of my head. Like I can't remember like exactly what is unlocked by default, but uh, hopefully something good. Something real good would be real nice. Oh, we need a table coral, not not coral tube. What am I doing? That was the wrong, that was the wrong coral. Darn it, coral. Okay, so now uh, there's the computer chip. I think that's it. Computer chip, diamond, lead, and titanium is all we needed for the modification station, which is fantastic. Now, I don't know if we get the higher capacity O2 tank just by building the modification station or not so let's go ahead and place you i feel like i was missing i was missing diamond i didn't pick up the diamond did i yeah i didn't i didn't grab a diamond oh there you are all right let's get this guy finished okay so what do we have here all right we've got the thermo blade and we've got the ultra glide fins you know the ultra glide fins are fantastic so we are gonna make those because those will make us swim a little bit faster uh, thermal blade would be nice. Actually, thermal blade would be really good because it could give us food while we're out in case we get low. So we do need to make that. So we need to get a battery and silicon rubber, lithium, and titanium. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, we have copper for that. I don't need that right now. Copper, gold, silicon rubber, and the fins, right? Was that all we needed for ultra glide fins? No, what am I missing? Oh, titanium and lithium. Okay. And titanium and lithium. Perfect. Okay. So ultra glide for fl fins, flins, fins. Why was that so hard to say? Ultra glide fins online. Let's go make ourselves a battery. Did those get equipped automatically? Yes, they did. Auto magically. All right. So. Acid mushroom. What? I just, I just grabbed an acid mushroom. I just grabbed them. Okay, two acid mushrooms. Let's go. Yeah, I'll seek fluid intake. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll happen. All right. This boom battery. Okay. So that's going to give us a thermal blade, which is going to be really nice. Like I said, we can cook food on the road. Are you? No, you're, you're still. You know what? We got hit by a thing, didn't we? Yep. Yep. We got hit by a, uh, we got hit by a, uh, one of those, one of those stupid explodey things again. Repair. Repair. I don't think I've ever had this issue before. I don't think I've ever had to repair this place after the first time. I don't. Radio online emergency. Yeah, I've already done that. It's, it's so weird. I don't think I've ever had this issue. So thermoblade. Let's go grab that. And like I said, that's gonna be. 
It's gonna be fantastic, actually, for uh, for emergency survival purposes. So, boom, we're good. Heck yes. Check that out. It's like a lightsaber now. Ha ha ha! Okay, so that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Now, you know what? I, uh... <laughs> did, I did I not make the high capacity O2 tank? <laughs> I thought I made that. Uh, high capacity O2 tank. Did I not make... <laughs> I never made the high capacity O2 tank. I thought I made the high capacity. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Glass times two, titanium times four, silver. Good gosh. You know what? I needed the silver. That's why I didn't make it. I went out and got silver and got sidetracked. You know how I am. Ooh, shiny. Okay, so let's get the... Uh, <laughs> let's get that guy going. Uh, let's see. We need a, a glass. We need a four titanium. One, two, three... Uh, we also needed silver and actually I think I need another glass. Okay. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's grab uh, do I have any salt? Do we have any salt? I need some salt so I can make some uh, There we go. And then we'll grab these. We'll make some water as well. Let me just grab all of those for now uh, Actually, we have bleach. Well, I'll just turn this into bleach right now. That's fine All right, so we got some more water boom 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 100% looking real nice uh, okay, so I need quartz, right? Uh, personal, this guy, high capacity, quartz and titanium. Easy enough. Let's see. How's my inventory? It's not that great. <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can grab this. And you know what? I think, oh shoot. I don't have a battery on this thing. Uh, oh, that's right. We were going to make the moon pool. Okay. We're going to make the moon pool tool. Um, I, th I believe, I believe. Wait, why does it say? Oh, it's because I took it off. Put that sucker back on. Jeez Louise, what am I doing? Um, I believe that the rebreather is actually unlocked passively. I think it's unlocked with the high capacity O2 tank. Pretty sure. Almost positive. I think that's what I I think I, I, I saw that somewhere. Or did somebody comment that? I don't think I don't know if anybody commented that. Maybe somebody commented that. I think it's unlocked with that, which is why I don't have it, and which is why I was trying to find it before and I couldn't find it. It's because there's no finding it. You just unlock it. So, let's go to, where's the red fields? Right here. Okay, so let's see. We, we need some quartz. I need some quartz to make some glass. Okay, so there's some right there. You know what? I'm thinking about turning the grass density down. Because <laughs> if I turn my graphic settings down, eh, eh. Uh, if I turn my graphic settings down, then I'll actually be able to see the quartz in here. Because, like, it's impossible to see. I saw there was a piece back there, but like, I just don't want to swim around aimlessly looking for it. Where are you? So I can see that piece right there. Okay. All right. It didn't. Okay. All right. It didn't load in. I was like, it's, it's getting covered in grass here in a second. Okay. So there's that one. Okay. I saw a piece of quartz over here until it loaded and then I lost it. Quartz, sea moth fragment. Like, how would you even see that? Okay. All right. All right. This is this is ridiculous. Okay. So I see. Okay. Let's grab these. I can see them. We're grabbing them. We're making it happen. There's one. There's one. All right. Cool. These ultra glide fins also don't feel like I'm moving very fast. Oh, I'm moving faster than I was though. All right. Let's make our do <laughs> let's make our O2 tank. I thought I made it. I completely forgot. So there's that. Uh, there's the glass. Now, if we go into here, we go into here. Oak two tank. Grab that. Throw that in there. Grab this. Boom, boom. High capacity O2 tank. And I believe that unlocks the rebreather. Let's see. Use fabricator, personal equipment. Rebreather right there. Wiring kit, fiber mesh. All right. What do we need for a wiring kit? Two silver. Uh, Fiber mesh. Was it just one fiber mesh? Or was it two fiber mesh? One fiber mesh, one wiring kit. Okay, I don't think we have anything left in here. We do not. I don't think I have enough stuff for another wire. I don't think I have stuff for a wiring kit. I think I just used it, didn't I, for the modification station? Pretty sure. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, I have one silver. Let's go ahead and drop all of this stuff. Wiring kit and fiber mesh. Pretty sure we had a fiber mesh in here. There's the fiber mesh. Oh, also, the Aurora. The the, the miniature, I think we got it from the... um. I think we got it from the one of the the lockers, one of the uh, the the time capsule deals. So I need silver. Okay, so we need to go grab some silver. 
let's go ahead and throw some stuff into our inventories here. Let's... I just ate those. Mm, okay. <laughs> Darn it. Let's see. Let's throw a couple waters. I have two. Let's take a medical kit. We'll leave the silver and the fiber mesh here. So I need to go out and get silver. And what do we also need for the moon pool? Advanced wiring kit. Look at that. Fancy, fancy filtered water. All this stuff. Let's see what we need for the moon. Oh, we also need to make the radiation suit. We need fiber mesh for that too. I guess we'll do that too. We're just going to get like everything prepared today for the Aurora. Where's the moon pool? Titanium get lubricant and lead? Well, shoot, I can make that. I can't really, yeah, that's super easy. Okay, all right, let's go, uh, let's go grab some resources, shall we? Oh, look at that. There's three right there. That right there looks like a perfect spot to find uh, some silver, found it already. And lead, look at that, we got, we got a little, uh, little bit of everything. Let's actually grab some more stuff while we're here. I'm gonna need it all anyways. Oh, laser cutter fragment. I think this is the last one I need. Oh no, I can already make the laser cutter. Oh well, we'll get titanium from it. Uh, okay, so I have a lit, nope. Okay, that we, we did need a laser cutter. <laughs> I did need that fragment. Wonderful. All right, let's grab the metal salvage and I think we are set. The only thing I need, I need more copper. Copper's always an issue. And it's not like I can just throw out my drill anymore because that doesn't exist in the vanilla version of the game. Oh, you know what? Actually, we need some creep vine as well. How full is my inventory? I think I can get like one of these because isn't this a uh, a four slaughter? Yeah, it is. Of course it is. All right, we should be good. Okay, so we need a wiring kit. And then that's going to give us the rebreather once I make fiber mesh, which I already have in my other inventory. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. Uh. Okay. Let's, let's get our titanium sorted. All right, rebreather time. Come on. Yes, finally. Finally. Inventory full. That didn't take enough inventory spaces? To, to... <sighs> okay, all right, that's fine. Throw that in. I just ate that. Well, I probably have enough space now. <laughs> and it's immediately equipped. Fantastic. Okay, so rebreather is good to go. Now, we are going to need... Let's get the moon pool going. Let's do that next. So, it was two titanium ingots. Um, I'm pretty sure I already made one titanium ingot in my other storage. If I'm not mistaken, it was two titanium ingots and... Lubricant and lead, right? Pretty sure that's what it was. Okay, so I don't have another titanium ingot. How many do I have? Eight, nine, two. There's 10, that's enough for one, a lead, and then we need a lubricant, so let's go grab some seeds. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to build the moon pool. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it doesn't cause an issue with our base, uh, with the, um, with the structural integrity. Oh, what? Do I not have? Oh, I didn't actually make the other titanium ingot. Duh. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and let's slap this bad boy on right. Where can we put it? I think this will attach. I think that'll attach. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Should attach. Should be fine. Structural integrity is 1.5. That's dangerously close to zero. Um, You know what? Let's... I don't want to do this, but I have to. We're going to grab... We're going to grab some lithium. I think it was a lithium and two titanium. And we're going to do a... Uh, oh, it's one lithium, three titanium. Okay. So let me go grab some more titanium. We're going to throw some structural integrity deals in here. That way we don't have to worry about that. Because if our base goes under and like, you know, worse comes to worse, something bad happens, we need to come back. And uh, that could cause us to die and end the game. You know, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to worry about it. Oh, let's dock our sea moth, and we're gonna get it charged up. Oh, we also need to get more. Um, we need to get more solar panels going. That's what we need to do. Cause now the thing's gonna start charging that. Fantastic. Uh, what did I get? Titanium. What did I get titanium for? I got titanium for the reinforcement of our sea base. That's what I got it for. 
Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get one of those installed. We're just going to install it right there. That should take us up to like seven. And I honestly don't foresee us needing any more of those. I don't think we're going to need any more of those for any reason. So let's go ahead and swap these all into the container. And then let's see what we're going to need now. We, we do need a, um, we need a laser cutter, which means I need diamond again. Uh, and I only have one diamond. I need two. Let's see, let's throw that in there. Okay, so water is good. That's good. That's good. Uh, let's go grab some food real quick. We should have some. Yeah, we'll eat these things. It's not great food, but it's food nonetheless. That's actually quite terrible. Holy gosh, that's really bad. <laughs> these things are so much better because they give you water as well. Uh, let's go ahead and let's cut these up and let's replant some of these things. There we go. Full container, full of marble melon. Heck yes. Okay, so now we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, fiber mesh. We need to get the lead suit so we can go on the Aurora. We need to get a laser cutter. So I need diamond for that. And do I have any quartz? I do. And I have a copper. Let's go ahead and get another solar panel on here. So we are, uh, our base should be okay. I mean, it's not a lot of power, but we don't need like a lot of power. I need two titanium. Are you kidding me? All right, let's throw another solar panel on here. We're gonna we're just gonna throw this one over here. You know, it's kind of amazing. I gotta say, these two solar panels can run this entire base. That's those are some efficient solar panels right there. I just I'm just saying, like that's that's some good work. <laughs> when, when can we get those solid, those kind of solar panels in real life, right? Okay, cool. So. We're charging up. Seamoth is charging up. That's looking good. I really wish I had more hot bar slots down here. That's another mod that I missed. So we need to get the lead, the radiation suit. I need fiber mesh. Okay, let's go. Let's make that happen. I think it was two lead, right? Was it just two lead? I think it was two lead. I think it was two lead and two, uh, two fiber mesh. I didn't grab the exterior grub, but I can't even believe that. Yes, I can. I would do that. Radiation suit, two fiber mesh, two lead. Okay, perfect. So let's make that. And then we need to make a laser cutter so we can get the, uh, so we can get the stuff out of the Aurora personal, this radiation suit. Heck yes. Ta-da. Radiation suit. Okay. So let's see. We have a rebreather. We have a radiation helmet. We're not doing the Aurora stuff right now. So I'm going to go put the radiation helmet away. And then, oh, so I remembered what I was looking for out there in that craig field i think is what is what it was called is the vehicle modification station i i'm almost positive that's out there so we're gonna go take a peek for that because i want to get the uh the seamoth upgrade well we need it for everything we need it for like all the upgrades anyways so let's go ahead and get the uh let's get this guy repaired hello get in there thank you appreciate it and then let's go look for the vehicle modification station. I believe it's over there. I'm a little worried though. I'm a little worried. Uh, okay. So where is, where's the Aurora? Right there. Okay. So I think the Craigfield thing is this way. <laughs> this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Um, but there's some like hull reinforcements we can get for it. Uh, eventually we'll be able to get some depth modules. Actually, we might be able to get depth module once we can make the, um, once we can make that anyways. And then that's going to be like a huge win because if we can get some hull reinforcements on here, we can kind of not worry so much about things attacking us all the time. Hopefully, maybe. So I'm pretty sure life pod 19. 300 meters. I'm going to head over that way. And I think it's in that area ish. Okay. So this is, I hate these areas. I hate going out into these deep open waters. Okay. Let's look. We're going to look around here. I hate going out here. This is terrifying. Every single time, every single time it's terrifying. We can only go 200 meters down. Mm-hmm. I don't like this at all. I don't like this. <gasps> is that it right there? That's it right there. That's exactly what I was looking for last time. Almost positive that's a modification station. Almost positive. And I know I need a new battery. What is it? Yes, vehicle upgrade console. That's exactly what I needed. Okay. 
Uh, what do we have here? Moonpool fragment. I don't need you. We have auction for a little bit, so we should be okay. Ooh, we got really laggy all of a sudden. What the heck? Uh, bioreactor? I mean, I guess. I don't really need a bioreactor. I know you can't see anything, and guess what? Neither can I, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, nothing else here. Why is it so framey here? That's weird. Okay, so... Oh, there's a torpedo arm. All right, we're going to go... I'm going to try to scan some stuff in this area whilst we're here. Okay, so prawn suit torpedo. There's another bioreactor fragment. I guess the bioreactor would be handy to have. Because uh, we wouldn't be re relying on solar as much. Prawn suit torpedo arm. Okay, so that's unlocked. Thermal plant fragment. I'll take that as well. Thermal plants unlocked. There's another torpedo arm, bioreactor. I'm pretty sure we already got the bioreactor unlocked now, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I think that's for the. I think that's it for the most part. Let's head back. I can't believe we got the vehicle upgrade console. Yes. That I knew. I knew there was something because I had to come here for something, and I I did it recently. I was like, I know there was something over here, and then I was like, oh, it's the vehicle modification station. All right. Let's head back. Let's see if we can get the vehicle modification station built too. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to over prepare myself for everything we're going to have to do. Uh, right now I'm over preparing for going to the Aurora because there is a chance that we're going to encounter a Reaper Leviathan. However, if you sneak into the Aurora and get in there, usually you're safe, but there is always Reapers over there. So that's going to be our closest encounter until we get to the Lost River. Then we're going to have Ghost Leviathans that we're going to have to worry about. Um, those are for the most part are, are fairly easy to, uh, avoid. And then after that, these are, this is my threat. This is my threat analysis, <laughs> threat analysis. Um, and then after that, we are going to have to worry about the sea dragon. Those are the threats I'm worried about. Those are the, those are the three things that I think have the possibility of killing me. Oh, and then there's also the, the threat of myself making a dumb, dumb mistake. And dying from that <laughs> that's that's another thing but i don't think i think if we play everything safe i think we should be fine i don't i don't i don't foresee us running into any other issues other than starvation and water i would also like to get the water reclamation suit but i haven't got that in a long time i almost don't even know if that's part of the game anymore like i don't i don't know if i remember that as a uh because we used to get, we used to get pee water from it essentially every now and then it would just give you a bottle of water uh, I don't know if that's part of the game anymore, though, because I've been playing it so many times in so long, it's like, it's hard to tell. Okay, so what do I need for the vehicle upgrade console? Uh, okay, so we did get Seamoth depth modules. Uh, depth module, depth module. That's modification station. Vehicle upgrade console. Okay, so depth module mark one. Hull reinforcement, engine efficiency. These are all wonderful things that we're going to need. What do I need to build that, though? We need titanium, computer chip, copper wire. Heck yes, that should be... That, ah, oh, we're going to be out of copper wire, aren't we? Yeah, it's going to be the copper wire. That's going to be the problem. Go figure. You know, I'm looking for copper while I'm out here, but you know what? There's a stalker right here. I'm going to do something. We're going to drop that. Play with, play with the metal. Play with the metal. Really? There you go, bud. Oh, doesn't want to play with the metal. Hey. Look. Play, play with the metal. I want. I need stalker teeth. I'm going to need stalker teeth for stuff. Does it not want to play with the metal? What the heck is wrong with you? Hey. Hello. Hello. Why is that stalker not attacking me? I didn't give it the metal yet. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Let's go try a different one. This one's broken. The stalker's broken. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You. You look like you want to play. No? Here you go. Okay. <gasps> There's a stalker tooth right there. All right. So I'm here for the stalker teeth real quick. Uh, Whilst we wait. 
or whilst whilst I grab stuff, just because I know we're gonna need it for the Cyclops for the enamel glass. And I know this is how you get it, and they're right here. They're already playing, and we might as well just grab it while we can. Oh, look at that. You dropped another one right there. Good job. Good job, buddy. Keep playing with them. You know, they're kind of cute when they don't want to eat you. Kind of like little dogs. So see, he's just a misunderstood. He's a misunderstood fish. Really? You had to come over here and fart right next to me? Like, what a jerk. Jeez, you're not dropping teeth very often, are you? Maybe this one doesn't have any more teeth to lose. <laughs> I'm not dropping anymore. I mean, we got two... But I'm, I'm not exactly sure what else we might need enameled glass for. I honestly can't remember. Would you drop some teeth? What the heck? Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, dropped one more tooth. I won't take your metal, bud. Don't worry. I won't take it. It's yours to play with. There's another one. Okay. Awesome. Oh, and there's another one. Nice. Now you're dropping them. Good job. Proud of you. All right. That's probably enough. I don't think I'm probably going to need any more than that. Uh... I'd like to have six. I have five right now, I think, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have five. Um, let's let's just try to get an even six. Oh, here we go. There you go. I thought I dropped another one too. Okay, we got six. That's all I need. I need more copper now. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I should be able to make the vehicle upgrade console, right? Computer chip, copper wire. We should be good. Do I need more gold? No, I think I just need... I think I just needed copper. What's my inventory? Do I have table coral? No. Did we need table coral? Yes. All right, where's the table coral? Uh, we have another message too. Let's play the message. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. Oh. From the little transgov on the far side of Andromeda. Uh-huh. And we have a saying there. No bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sure. It's like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Nice. Okay. So, uh, I need a copper wire. I need a computer chip. And I need another copper wire, right? I believe so. Pretty sure. Is that vehicle upgrade console ours now? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, indeed it is. And then we can see what we need for a depth module upgrade. We can get a hull reinforcement. We can get a storage module. Oh, we can get all the things, all of the things, all of the things. Okay. Uh, Where is my building tool? Habitat builder tool. All right, let's get you. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to hit one. I'm just going to do it that way. Probably be easier. All right. Uh, right. Let's see. Interior modules. This guy. Put it right there. Awesome. Okay, so what do we need for Seamoth? Depth module, mark numero uno. Titanium ingot and glass. Heck yes. Seamoth perimeter defense. That's a good one. That's a good one to have. We'll probably get that one too. Um, We also have prawn suit upgrades. <laughs> Obviously, we're not getting nickel. Wait, we do have nickel. Wait, yeah, that, that thing actually had nickel for us. So that would actually allow us to get the, the depth module mark one. Oh, fantastic. Drill arm. Uh, we're going to need that as well. But we need to get the depth module mark one for this guy along with a perimeter defense. And is there not a hull upgrade? Oh, common modules. Okay. Diamond times four? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Titanium and getting glass. We... Mm, the glass. I don't know if I have enough quartz. Oh. Oh. One, two, three. Uh, titanium ingot and glass. Do I have enough titanium is the question. We got four there. We got eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Okay, so let's take all of that. Let's make this happen. Let's get a depth module on the old uh, the old Seamoth there. All right, depth module. Let's go. Depth module mark one. That was easy. What's a mark two take? Let's go look at what the mark two takes. I know it takes a mark one. It probably takes mark one ruby. And ooh, I don't know. Uh, Seamoth upgrade is Mark II. Plastic at magnetite and enameled glass. 
That's actually pretty, uh, that's not too bad. Plasteel ingot, magnetite. I don't have magnetite, not yet. Okay, well, let's just throw the Mark One on there for now. Uh, do we have any exosuit upgrades, Seamoth, Cyclops, Finn? Okay, we don't have the extra like overcapacity deal. Let's go ahead and access the upgrades. Let's throw in the depth module. Crush depth is now 300 meters. Very nice. And then the last thing is the laser cutter. We need a laser cutter. So laser cutters, two diamond, cave sulfur battery and titanium. Okay, so I don't have the stuff for that. I don't have the diamond yet. We're gonna have to go out and find that diamond again, unfortunately, but I think that's gonna end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Uh, next episode, laser cutter and then Aurora, maybe. Maybe we'll just do a little all-in-one episode there. It'll be fantastic. It'll be a wonderfully good time. And we're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a nice little uh, rough resupply for us. We're also gonna unlock the prawn suit there and try to get that guy built as well. And then I guess the next step after that is making sure everything's good to go. Head to the Lost River, grab some rubies, some nickel, uh, go get some magnetite, get some upgrades, things like that. Get the further depth module, get kyanite. Uh, we got, I, I, I got the whole thing like planned out. I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. But yes, thank you again for coming out. Thank you all so much for the support. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe consider hitting the bell icon to be notified of future videos. And I will see you in the next one.